Hello and welcome. I decided to create a new tutorial and in this tutorial I want to show you how to get downsampling working with War Thunder. So some of you might already know what downsampling is and for the others I want to give a short explanation. Basically downsampling makes your picture and your game looks better. So how does this work? Basically you render your um, image at a higher resolution than default and it gets scaled down to your uh, default resolution and by that you get a much cleaner and sharper image. So it can help a lot with spotting aircrafts and you have more details and less uh, like chair effects. Uh, stairs effects, um, for example, on the wings. It, it works somehow like anti-aliasing, but it, um, you get all the details. So, how does this work in War Thunder? Um, if you normally start your War Thunder launcher, you can just, uh, select the resolutions which are available to you. So, my default desktop resolution is 1920 by 1080. This is the maximum I can select. Um, but there's this nice tool which is called GEDOSATO tool, which is basically um, a, pre a short form for generic downsampling tool, um, which allows you to choose higher resolutions. And um, so the game gets rendered at a higher resolution and then scaled down for more details. So you can just download this um, from the internet. I will add a link to the description and just run it. It will install and then you get to this window. And here you can first, of course, update since uh, this seems to be a new update. So now I got the tool running and as you can see, we are up to date now. Um, first, you want to edit the settings um, here you can add your preferable render resolutions which is very important so for example you want uh, different render resolutions from what is here and um, i'll just add some i prepared so those are the custom resolutions i have this is like 25 percent more than default 50 percent more than default and this is 4k so the next thing you want to check is um, the scaling type. Um, there are different methods and the best quality you get with the lens method. Well, this is for scaling down from your downsampled resolution. So, so for your from your higher resolution to get to your default resolution. Um, yes, you also want to Check that you maintain the aspect ratio. And next thing you want to check are the settings for the mouse. Here you have to set um, some values to true, otherwise you can only move your mouse in a smaller part of the screen and you cannot click F stuff. So set all this stuff here, like here, um, to true. And save and close. So now we are ready to go. Ah, uh, wait. First we have to add the game executables to the whitelist. Um, those are the ACES and the launcher. Just type ACES and launcher here. Save it and close it. Um, next thing, just minimize it and start up War Thunder. So now as you can see, we have new resolutions available. Those are the new ones um, we added. So let's try to run the game in 4K. Also make sure you go into the advanced options and set the render to Windows XP, which is DirectX 10, I think, because uh, this is the only one um, which is working at the moment. Maybe you can try out the other ones later with a new version of the tool. Um, right now we can just go and hit play.
So as you can see, we have a little information here that the tool is running. And as you can also see, yeah, my interface is really small. So you can change it here in the game options by going to interface and for big screens. Okay. Now this looks better. So as you can see, we're in the hangar and this is War Thunder in 4K. So maybe your computers are not good enough to run the game in 4K if there's a lot of stuff going on. So you might want to choose a lower resolution. Um, I am currently playing the game in um, not 4K, of course. My computer is not that good. But I'm using the 2880 by 1620 resolution, which is quite nice. It's 50% more higher resolution than default. Um, so it's uh, like, I think it's 2K, what you would call it, 2K. And it's, it's looking a lot better than uh, the default resolution. And it's quite nice and you get enough FPS. So of course you have to restart every time. So this time resolution is 2880 by 1620 and it's still looking nice. I don't have the like stairs effect um, on the wings I have in 1920 by 1080. I know you can change it with anti-lysing but you lose uh, some quality and sharpening and if you have um, just good enough hardware you can just use um, down sampling to get rid of that and it also makes um, it a little bit easier to spot the dots in simulator battles and it makes the game look a lot nicer. So I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. I will add a lot of stuff into the description like a download link for the tool and my custom resolutions. So I hope you enjoyed and um, yeah, see you soon.